hear you breathe, but I can't see If you're right here next to me Something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're done? You get dressed, I'm like a mess And you tell me to confess And you tell me to confess Oh hi guys and welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for stopping by um in today's video i'm going to be going over the pros and cons of passion twist and also taking these babies out i've had them in for about four weeks now and i absolutely love passion twist passion twists are not for every hair texture um, at least not as a protective style. Um, and I tell my clients all the time that it's really up to what your preference is. But like as you guys can see, my curls start popping out. And it's not really a problem for me because if it's like really bad, I'll just put some mousse on it. And it's not because I didn't twist it right. It's because passion twists were not made to be a protective style this is a cute style if you're going on vacation um if you have like a special occasion like a wedding or something to go to these are perfect for that but if you're looking for a long-term hairstyle that's going to give you that longevity passion twists are not it i think the longest time that i've kept passion twists in was six weeks and that was a push <laughs> that was a push so yes they are beautiful they are fun they are definitely low maintenance but at the same time it's not for every hair texture and every hair length there are, you guys um, can see my little curls coming out <laughs> as beautiful as these are they are not long term and i very well could just touch up the front because that's where most of the that's where most of it is coming from these are pretty much intact but the front is the part that kind of gives me the most problem as you guys can see um and it's really only with passion twists look at that <laughs> my curls so yeah the front kind of gives me a problem because the front is a little bit of a finer texture than the back so i'm just gonna cut right here because i know where my hair ends and then i'm just going to kind of pry my fingers in like this and just untwist that way and there we have it before I get really thick buildup, I like to take my hair out because I'm tender headed, y'all. And baby, when it comes to detangling, I'll be about on the flow. I really don't have a lot of um, shedding. I know you guys see that little ring right there. I like to take it out before it gets hard and crusty. Nobody wants that. That's not good for your hair to keep it into where it gets hard and crusty because the detangling process is going to be 10 times harder. It's best to keep styles in for up to four to five weeks max and then take it out. That ring, if it's too thick and crusty, if you don't know how to properly detangle your hair um, after you take out a protective style, you literally can rip your hair out. I've seen it done. I know you paid your money, sis. <laughs> I know you paid your money and you want to get your money's worth, but don't make your hair suffer. So most of this will be getting cut off tomorrow. I'm going to be getting my hair trimmed. Literally just put your finger in and go like this. No scissors involved. And my hair is longer in some sections than in others, so I... Sometimes don't like to cut it and then sometimes if I have to cut it down at the bottom, it's really not even worth cutting and You have a lot less cleanup when you do it this way So the edges is where we put most of the product so that's where you'll see most of the product buildup so 
in order to detangle that i don't want to just run my fingers through that if i have a lot of edge control or gel or shining jam so i picked up this girl plus hair they, this is a black owned company um and this solution i want to show you guys is very slippery it's very watery and has a water consistency so this works perfect with also taking out protective styles to get that gunk out so it's called this is the refresh one and it is it says under hair care so you will also use this if you wanted to refresh your scalp while you have a protective style in so i'm just gonna put a little bit of this right here and you see how easy it works through it's like water y'all here goes my shedding which isn't a lot especially for it to be on my edges and this is like where i normally put my little swoop at so yes you see how quick and easy that kind of detangled okay so my hair is absolutely filthy i did not wash it because i'm getting my hair trimmed today so i didn't want to wash it because i know i'm gonna get a wash that's a shock so um what i did was i put this on each section like i explained yesterday and i just combed it out and then i had my daughter just put these twists in here so i'm just gonna take these out so yes like these ends are trash so i want to kind of get it cut to like maybe right here probably have to be higher but we'll see I'll be yours if you let me, let me hold you tight, but I don't know if you let me in. Okay guys, so please like, a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video when I come back from the shop. Take care and be safe out there. Bye bye. I hear you breathe, but I can't see if you're right here next to me.